Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of building and getting our arena ready so we can do some boss fights. As you can see behind us, we got some of those acros that we got kind of bred and raised up. They're doing some more breeding, so hopefully we can get enough, get a small little army together, and try to do one of the boss fights. I'm kind of aiming for doing the alpha one with them. I know, I know I usually do the lower level gamma or beta when we're testing out new teams, but I think they're going to be beasts, man. So we'll go ahead and try to just <laughs> we'll go all in. Either we're going to be able to beat it, or we're going to lose everybody in the process. However, as I was saying today, we're going to be doing some work back here. So what I want to do is totally rebuild this. I want to take it all down, move it over here, kind of have it attached to this. It'll help out with some of the issues we have with the Brontos and the other creatures kind of just wandering up in here and everything. So my plan is to bring it out maybe three or four foundations to about right here. That way we clear... That little piece of land over there that's sticking up. And what we'll do is we'll come out. Right now it's 13 foundations by 13 foundations. So I think what we're going to do is make it. All right. We might make it a little bit bigger and maybe do like 14 by 14. It'll also be an even number so that whenever we come off of this because it's too wide, it'll kind of it'll be similar, right? It'll be the same on each side. And our platform right now is too small for like the whole bubble. Whenever we did some testing on it, it went way outside of that. So we got plenty of room. I'll tell you what, let's do this. I think they just had an egg, right? Yeah, so let's take her real quick. And let's see what our situation looks like now. I know we got to go higher, so I'll definitely raise the roof up on this. I'm going to keep it about the same design, I think. We'll just make it taller. So that's one there. So we should be able to get four if you do it. Kind of like in a cross shape, and then four more like this, so that's eight. So we really don't need to make it too much bigger. I think just the uh, the extra foundation, maybe we'll do 16 by 16 instead of 14 by 14. Raise it up maybe two pillars higher, and that should be good. And that'll give us a huge area to do our boss fights in. And it's right here at base. Did you have to do that right where I'm about to be working? I'm just saying. Could have held it in, man. But it'll be nice. It'll be nice having it attached right to there. And then I'll remove the fence down here. We don't really need to get to this back part. And what we're going to do on the back side is put a whole bunch of the plant species. And then I'll take care of the Brontos and stuff that are around. And that should, I know I said this last time, but that should kind of conclude the building for right now on our base. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm going for. Get this guy back up here. They are in range of the nanny and... The little hatchery and everything else so we're kind of set i'm gonna let them just do their thing all day and produce a bunch of eggs for us and we'll kind of see what we come up with at the end of the video we got two in there for right now so it's not too bad let me just double check one last time just to make sure they are on mating and i'm not carrying wingman on me today so you're good and you're good so what i think we're gonna do with him is we need to get him another one it's something I've been putting off for a very long time, and that scare we had with him getting lost. Dude, I need to get another one. That way we can go ahead and get some breeding done and have another little one. We'll retire him. We'll keep him around. I'm definitely not going to get rid of him. But I think he's a pretty high level whenever we tamed him, right? Yes, he was a wild 120, so that is definitely, definitely good enough for doing breeding. We'll just have to find a female one and then uh, bring her over here keep him around and then just take his uh his little one and start using that we'll have to find one with some other colors i wouldn't mind mixing another color in with the black and the brown or that's eh, not really brown it's kind of like brown and black but definitely i like the orange so i have to find something that kind of mixes with that anyways let's get started out here first thing i'm going to do is totally tear down all of this it's going to be a lot it should help out with some lag like i said before i literally have pillars up multiples in each location you can kind of see them there so we're going to rip all this down, and we'll be building this back with foundations. Since the foundations for S-plus are stackable, probably do foundations all around the outside perimeter and then ceilings in the middle. So underneath will be hollow. But again, that'll definitely help out with a little bit of lag. Let's put you in here for right now. He'll probably live in the arena. Kind of like my little medic pig I had. I have no reason to get rid of him. We haven't really tamed any more yet. He's got decent food, so we'll, we'll keep him around. That's something else that's on my list to do here eventually is get some more of the like the medics and stuff bred up that way we can have a lot of food on them i like having them around base it makes it a lot simpler anyways this is gonna take a while nope 
No idea why there would be any kind of lag on this map. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, dude. I'm kind of curious the count whenever I get done picking all these up to see how many pieces it was just to build this. As you can see, all of those bags, too. Those are all full of spark powder. I'll be trashing most of that. I don't have storage for it. Like I said, I made up a ton of spark powder, filled up all of those things whenever I was making this so I wouldn't ever have to fill them again. That was before S+, you know, so you had to... <laughs> you had to actually put spark powder in your torches. And, oh, dude, I'll tell you what, man. We'll be keeping some of these, and then a lot of it I'm trashing. All of the walls I went ahead and just destroyed and got the resources from. I mean, we're not going to be doing walls on this other one. And it's kind of an easy way to restock our stuff. But, oh, man, I'm about halfway done. So we're, we're getting there. I kind of broke down part of that wall as well. It's going to be kind of weird seeing it actually opened up out here. Well, there it is. You can see all the stacks of the spark powder and stuff. I just kind of picked it up with this and then threw them out of my inventory. That is a lot of space. I think I built it up with so much because right here is actually considered water. I kind of hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear the sound, but that is water right here. Yep, there we go. I just drank out of it. So I think that's the reason why I set it up on so much of the pillars. I don't know why I put it off to the side, though, because I know I built the base first. Hmm, interesting. Anyways... Let's take a look real quick before I start building all the foundations. I got a bunch of crafting up. I grabbed what I had out of here, converted them. I've only got 43. So with all the pillars that I broke, I got over in that crafting terminal, making 50 more. So it should be enough to do the outside, right? Because I'm guessing some of it right here should only be one or two high. But as we get out over here, mainly in this corner, it's probably going to be about three foundations high whenever I stack them. So we're going to need quite a few, but... I've heard the acros over there quite a bit, so let's see what kind of eggs we got. We'll throw those into the incubator. Just take a look. Nice little break from building. One, two, three, four, five. We've got six eggs. Nice, nice. So all we're looking for now is mainly mutations for some better stats. Love it when it does that. So you're a normal one. Usual colors. So we'll get rid of you. Same with you. Same with you. That's a normal one altogether. Not missing any stats. A lot of them are missing some of the oxygen, which is fine. I should. I tell you what. What I might end up doing. That's a normal one. All the normal stats, even though it does have that extra oxygen, which we don't need. But we'll go ahead and take this. And let's go ahead and raise it up. That way we can get eggs a little bit faster. I mean, might as well. It all reaches out here. So let's go ahead and throw her out. And I have noticed if I let it go until it just starts imprinting, it does a full imprint. We don't have any problems with it getting that 99%. But it doesn't matter with this one because we're doing breeding with it. So we don't need that full imprint. We'll go ahead and raise it up though real quick. Do a pulse. How much we got on element? We got 40. Let's grab another stack. We've got plenty of it. We are going to be going to... Extinction here before too long. Dude, I tell you what, man, I got so many things that I want to do. Some people have been asking. We are going there to do some more drop pods. And what I plan on doing is one of the purple ones. I want to take a force field. Set up a force field, take all of our drop pod gigas, maybe some of the acros, and see how many waves we can last. I totally expect to lose everybody on that one. So I want to have a good, a good set of everybody that's all bred up and everything. And that way, whenever, not if, but whenever we get wiped, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just curious how many waves we can go. And then if we get to five, maybe we'll keep going. Because every five levels, you get a chance to end the, end the drop pod and collect some loot. Of course, the longer you go, the better the loot. So we'll have to see. But that is coming up here very, very soon. It'll be a nice break from building and taming. Let this dude get ready real quick and put her on mating. Should be close enough. Everybody's real close. I kind of like how it reaches outside of the the walls there. Just enough room. I need to move my magma sore. Look at that egg already. Boy, I tell you what. Nothing like a little snack. Just saying. Cool. And we'll let them do their thing. That'll produce us eggs a lot faster. I'm hoping to get some good mutations and good colors and stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and start laying out our foundation. I'll come back whenever I get the foundation done. And probably the ceiling's done in the middle. I'm going to keep the same design with the wood, too, where I have the wood, kind of like that cross in the middle. It just, it kind of breaks it up, right? Makes it a little bit different. So I'll see you back in a little bit. It's still getting towards evening. I thought it was going to take a lot longer 
to remove everything, but went fairly well. Well, it's kind of hard to see. It is getting towards evening time, pretty late in the evening. But I've got all the wood down. Foundations are down. It's like four high on this side, I think. Dude, it drops off so much. There we go. Turn the lights up to see a little bit. It drops off so much and then kind of comes back around some of this. But it's not too bad. At least all that area is under us now. And we don't have all of those pillars. But I think it's going to work out fairly well. I've got all the ceilings I need. I might need to make up some more of the wood just for the top piece. Because it's going to be so much wider, right? I mean, this is a massive arena, dude. Holy crap, man. I did not realize... Just extending it by three foundations in each way was going to make it so much bigger. We might, I don't know, we might change up the top a little bit. I definitely want to replace the glass with the normal glass, not greenhouse glass. We'll use like that there. I don't think I have any of the pieces made, but I got a ton of leftovers of the, the wall part. So I might have to grind those up. I still haven't gone out for any of the crystalline stuff. We're not doing too bad, man. Not doing too bad. We're going to have way... Way too many pillars. I'm going to grind everything that we're done with when we're done building here just to get our resources back. Okay, well, let's set this out real quick. Get this in the middle here. And since we're using the big ones now, at least it's going to fill in the whole platform. I wish I could zoom out a little bit further. That's actually not too bad. Oh, dude, that might be the first time I ever put it directly in the center on the first try. <laughs> That's not too bad. All right, I got quite a bit more to go, dude. In the morning time, we'll take a look at these eggs. There's quite a few eggs that we got to take a look at. We'll have probably double that by the time morning comes, and then I'll have that base part down, and we'll start building the sides. I think instead of doing so many of these side pillars, because I did have four sets of columns on each side, I think what we might do is just, just the corners, just the four posts on the sides, and that's it. I mean, we really don't need the other ones now. The other ones were for support because we needed them since i wasn't using s plus but now i think it'll be fine we'll just do the four on the sides and call it good on that well good morning it is pretty early i got the whole bottom part done we're about to start on some of these i want to go ahead and grab some of these as well i think what i want to do is we're gonna need wingman to be able to get up top so i'm thinking about blocking this side off just because of dinos so let's grab it's going to need three more of the railings I just put away. And then we're going to put some stairs on the other side. Because, as you know, I've got the dinos over there breeding. So if I don't want to go out the front door, I can always just run off the back here and get over there as well. I said I don't need to pick up all those other ones. But that'll kind of block that off from anything. And then over here should be fine. We shouldn't have anything wandering up here with all of the, uh, all the plant species we got. We should be well protected. I would hope. I don't want to pick it up. I want to change it. It's on stairs. Nice. There we go. Easy up, easy down. And that is all blocked off. I could almost make this something I might do too. Make a little cutout here for our medic. Put our pig right here. Let's do that real quick. Let's pick this one up. Make one more ceiling because I am out. I don't know if I have any in vaults, but I've used all of the ones that we had over here. So resource-wise, I mean, we saved a lot on the pillars, but all the ceilings and everything kind of worked out. The ones I had to make more of. We need to make more wood ceilings, but resource requirements kind of the same as the other one. So that's kind of cool. Throw the pig over here make sure he fits. Did I put him out here? I did. All right, back inside with you. Well, not inside. Outside, but... <laughs> He got a nice having the medic right here. He reaches pretty far, so that way whenever we come out of the boss fights, anything we need, he will be right here. Might need to move him back a little bit just because of his snout, but we'll put him on passive healing. That'll help out a lot with the tames and stuff. Nice, man. Nice. Cool. You all right? I think he was shaking a little bit. I know, buddy. It's a new area. Kind of worried. I think he was kind of had his foot back on the railing. We got eggs like crazy, man. Let's throw those in here real quick, and then we'll continue on our build. Overweight, yeah, I'll tell you what, those eggs are not light. What are they, 20 pounds each? 25, holy crap, dude. That's a uh, colorful sight, I'm just saying. <laughs> They're a lot bigger than you think sometimes. All right, any mutations? Oh, dude, we got quite a few. We got twins or triplets with some of them. So, nothing with you, okay. 
Okay, okay. That's the way it goes sometimes. Nothing with you. That's another normal one. We'll go ahead and take it. I'll throw it out there for more egg production. Probably the same thing with that one. Same with this one. Those must have been triplets there. All the same stuff, you know. Oh, man. Kind of not getting anything good on these guys. They're all getting the really bad stats. I need to probably change out the male. Maybe I'll change it out with this one. I'm guessing I'm getting that bad oxygen from the one that we have. So we'll raise all four of these up. We'll do the growth pulse. We'll retire this male and replace it with ours that we just got. I think this is the male here, right? That's a female. You. Do you have the bad oxygen? I mean, not that it matters. I just hate seeing the red all the time. So let's do this. Let's get you out of the way. Back you up a little bit. I tell you what, now that we're messing with the breeding stuff more, and you guys finally got me reading the stats properly on the soul traps and whatnot, it does make it a lot easier. I'll give you that. You guys were right. It's a lot easier checking stats and stuff now, even though I don't have the absolute numbers. Dude, you're like in the ground. Let's grab this saddle. Well, you have a saddle? You do. Grab your saddle. Pick you up out of the ground in a little bit. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn her around this way. We'll set all the females this way, and we'll put the male up there along the window. That way, he should have reach to everybody. Just hope I don't knock down one of my trees, man. All right, leave you there. You're just in the way too, buddy. I need to put you somewhere else, man. Kind of wish he could fit inside, but he's a little bit too small. I need to throw him into a soul trap when I'm not using him for metal gathering. We'll just throw all three of these guys, or four, out right here. Dude, we're going to have a ton of eggs here <laughs> pretty quick. All right. Everybody's good. I'd like to get some mutations before we go today, if possible. I'm kind of wanting to see what other color would come on those. I'll just get something like really bright, like a lime green or something. Or fluorescent pink. Oh, dude, I tell you what, that'd be crazy. All right, so for out here. Oh, we're out of water, too. Boy, I tell you what, it's not prepared today. We'll start getting these pillars up. I tell you what, we might bring that guy over there that we're getting rid of. We'll bring him in here and use him for kind of testing to see how high we need to go. I think we need to go probably two pillars higher than what we were. We'll step on my plants, man. I just put them in there. All right, so I want him with his head sticking out. We'll leave you there. Grab some of these. I think I'm going to do them just directly in the middle, like last time. I kind of like it instead of putting it directly on the side. So what's that? One, two, three, four. Five. Do six. Six high, and then it's going to go up in the middle. So it'll get taller in the middle, but that should be the same size as a Rex, I believe, right? I guess we could throw our Giga out. I know the Giga's way too big. And we're not using it for boss fights. I did bring some, though. Plan on doing some Giga breeding, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> it's for the drop pod stuff that we'll be doing. I kind of like it over here. We're going to stay over here for a while. Just as a break from Lost Island. So, yeah, okay. The, the Acro is almost the same size as a Rex. Because a Rex is just a little bit smaller than a Giga. So that'll work. That'll work. Not too bad. I wish they had... I don't know. I wish before they were done with Arc 1, they would have made one special map where you could use Gigas on the boss fight. I know, I know you can on Extinction, but I mean like a boss arena. Just like as a challenge arena or something. It'd be kind of fun. Something a little bit different. That way all these people that breed up all of those high level Gigas and stuff would have something to do with them. I don't know. It'd be pretty fun to do. Alright, cool. So I'm going to do these six high. And then let's grab some wood ceilings. And we'll start on our weird little kind of top piece that I do. This is quite the stretch, man. So we got 66 on the ceilings. I will need more and we'll grab... Just do half and half. That way we can actually move. I need to be able to fly with Wingman. The hard part is, is getting that first one set down. Once we get the first one... Oh, I should have kept some of the pillars. I'm going to need a couple of them to get this kind of started. It's a little weird how you got to work it out to get it started, but... All right, so there's that. Let's do one more. All right, let me grab a couple pillars. 
I just need it for extending out and doing the up piece. Seems how you can't attach a set of stairs without it having something to clip to. Oh, man, it's so nice having him. I am so glad you have no idea that we did not lose Wingman. Most teams, I don't care if we lose them. It's, I mean, it's kind of arc, right? You can't get attached to your teams. It's the way it is. It's kind of like one of the one of the rules. However, <laughs> I got a little attached to Wingman. All right, so we're going to go out to... We will set one of you. We will set one of you. And then clip you in there. And you there. Pick up you, you, and you. And that is what we'll do. Oop, not demolish. We'll do all the way around. I'll have to do the same thing here. We'll go up just one more tier. And then that whole middle piece will be glass. So we'll repeat the same process. Come over here a little bit to make it easier. And this does work on van vanilla. It's not just an S plus thing. This is actually how I got the original one built this way. And then pick up those. Cool. Well, I have a lot of this <laughs> to do all the way around. And then we have to get the glass made. Like I said, I have to make some up. It's going to be a pretty big glass skylight in there. I am almost want to make that into a normal teleporter. But, our uh, transmitter. But we won't be able to do boss fights. And it's going to be super loud. I just like the beam that shoots up from it. But whenever we come back, I'll have the top part done here. We need to plant out our plant species. Probably put quite a few along the back there. It's some on the side here. And we should have more eggs. Oh, let's take a look at these guys real quick. Let me get them all kind of sorted out. Set them up on breeding. There is a ton of you. Is that some more breakfast? It is. Borrow your saddle for a minute. I thought I had enough made, but apparently now I don't. All right, so one of you is the male one. It's this one. Okay. Keep you separate. I want to put you at the front, and you can have all of the ladies behind you. It'll make life easier if he reaches. I don't know what the range is on these guys. So that's one, two, three, four. We got one more, and maybe he'll fit in the middle there. It's kind of what I'm hoping. There we go. Don't growl at me. Well, I'll tell you what. All right, put him here in the middle. We might need to move him up some. Yep, that's as far as he can go. Okay, okay. I mean, all right, well, hmm. It's a little weird, a little bit awkward. All right, so you have mating on. You have it on. That might have been the same pair of feet. I just went from one to the other. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a lot of toes, I'm just saying. And then I'll check in the nest real quick. And any of the ones that we have, we just need to throw them out because I'll probably have that one low oxygen stat from the other male. Again, it doesn't matter, but might as well keep them all the same. How many do we got? Two. We'll check them. Nothing like a little bit of breeding and building all in the same day. So nothing special here. We've got enough of the females. I don't want to keep any more. And that's another good male. I don't think I want to keep him either. So we're good, man. Cool. I'll see you back when we have the roof done and go from there. Looks a little weird now. I'm just saying. Got a lot to do. Holy crap, I got a lot to do. So the roof is done. I ended up going up one more level just because this big of a glass area would have looked really super weird. So, I mean, it's fine. It's really nice and high. We'll end up putting some lights shining down for the Omni ones. So it turns out <laughs> we only need four of these for the glass, which is just the same size as the other one. It's just, we're out a little bit further. It's a lot bigger. So let's grab a little bit of that. And we'll grab, oh, totally forgot to fly. We'll grab, I think I have a couple more of the wood ceilings. Or the, um, oh, I don't. I need to make up a couple of those. We got some wood ones. I need to check and see. So I kind of overmade these. I thought it was going to be a lot more. I'm using regular ones mainly because I didn't want to have to change them over. If they were ramps. Super lazy, man. It happens. It's the way it goes. Let me check in here, though. Oh, we do got some ceilings. We got some S-plus ones. We don't need 50. So what we're doing with these and the plant species is I plan on putting them on the back here. But I'm not going to put it up level. I want to put it down 
right about there. It'll look a little bit different, but I don't know. I just want to try something a little different, man. So let's do it here. Let's do one there. Plan on doing three on each corner. And then where's the middle? Right there. Dude, I know it's a ton of plant species, but it serves two purposes. One, keeps the Brontos away. Two, kind of for looks, man. Change it up some. We'll do those like that. It's going to be freestanding, but I think it'll be all right. Need that many? Maybe we'll just do two on each corner. One, two, three, four, five, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, because I only got 15 total, I think. Of the platforms made, or the uh, crop plots. Dude, those things are so expensive to make, man. The amount of stone on those things. So we'll just do two. Okay, well, let's just fly up and land on it with Wingman. It'll be a lot easier. So we're done there. Not doing any more that way. And we'll do some over on this corner. We'll do the two in the middle and then some on the side. So we should be good. That should be it on those. Okay, right here. Again, man, Brontos, dude. If they get too close and they start swiping that tail, we got so much wood. I just <laughs> I don't want to be repairing it all the time. And that should be good there. We don't need any back here. We're going to have plenty between the ones there and the ones here. They are all on a high range. So, I mean, they shoot super far. And I'm probably not going to do any over here either. Just because it'll clutter it up. We don't need it. What I'm going to do is break these down, just demolish them, because I definitely need the resources. I'm going to have to go out for wood again here before too long. My uh, my vaults are getting super empty. Well, I mean my crafting stations. I don't have vaults anymore, which I kind of need to make because, holy crap, dude. Am I using a ton of those crafting stations to keep all of our stuff in? All right, so let's grab a little bit of glass. Like I said, we got a ton of those. We're not going to need any more of those, those, or that. So let's grind those up. Like I said, all the parts, when we're done with this, I'm grinding everything. All right, they'll come over. Wait. Yeah, let's do it over here. Let's see which one is empty so I don't start mixing stuff up. And we want the ceilings. We only need four. So that'll be super cheap on that, and then I need to find where I put my crop plots. I think they might be over one of the other crafting stations that I'm using for storage. I think I got 15, maybe 20. I can't remember how many I had made up. I know I ran out of stone. I was going to bring the Dodic over here, but dude, the Magmasaur, it kind of works both ways. He gets a ton of stone, which I usually don't need, but metal at the same time, so it's kind of hard not to use him. There we go. 15. So hopefully that's going to be enough. Okay, well, let's do the glass first and this will be done. Then all we have left in here is some lights. And we'll see where we're at from there on this. This might be just about done though. Wait, not a crop plot. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Have those on top, but <laughs> we don't need it. I'll paint them. Let's go ahead and change the transparency. Yeah, that weird glare. We are going to paint them black like the other one. Tell you what, just easier to do it this way. Where is glass? There we go. Nice. And that is done with. I did make another one of the the painters. I don't know what you call them. I think it's in here. One of these. It makes painting so much easier, dude. We should have some more black dye. I know I'm getting low. Oh, I got 73. More than I thought. And it should be on the correct regions. Yeah, region 6. Let's fly up on Wingman and do it. There we go. Now they're tinted and don't have that weird glare to it. Now, I don't think I have any more glass to paint. I think we're good on glass, so I'll put all this away. So then all we got left is putting out the crop plots. I'm going to do that now. Irrigate them. I think I have just enough of the fertilizer. I brought some over from Lost Island, but I forgot the dung beetle. I was going to bring him too. He'll be over here before too long to keep up on that for us. But I got just enough for there. And we should be good. Let's take one last look at our eggs. Y'all are shaking the whole building, man. I'm just saying. We got guys sleeping over here. It's rude. 
<laughs> They're going crazy, man. Uh, we're gonna be overweight. Too much weight. That's fine. We'll leave these guys in there to incubate a little bit more. Come on, give us at least one mutation. Dude, that was a ton of babies right there. A lot of males. <gasps> we got one. Where'd you go? Movement speed. Fantastic. I'll be keeping you. You don't want you. Don't want you. Uh, dude, it's gonna be it's gonna be addicting now. Raising all these guys up and checking for mutations all the time. The only thing that sucks is whenever you change them out. So changing the male out with mutations isn't bad. It's whenever you got the females because then you have to replace all of them. And seeing as how we got a ton of them now, we got to uh, we got to change them all out. So let's do that. We'll let Junior raise up. We'll get rid of this other male. We'll get rid of that male. We're gonna have too many dinos here before too long. See, this is the problem. This is why I don't like breeding. All right. Oh wait, I didn't want to. Yep. Hold on. Need your saddle. All right. So you're trash. Oh, dude. Fantastic! I was talking about in the last video, I was wondering if a mutation would change the red stripe. I like it. I'm not crazy about it. That... Oh, dude, that looks fantastic, man. Kind of weird being yellow, but it works with the rest of them, right? With the purple and then a the little bit of gray he's got on his little stubby arms there. It kind of matches the tan. Oh, dude, that is fantastic. So we will breed all those once, get some eggs, and then all of them will have the colors, too. Yeah, nice. Ah, uh, makes the makes the video so much better, man. I'm happy. I was hoping to get a good mutation on that main color. So I guess you can change out all the colors with the mutations. Just throw them all in here. They're probably all going to be trash. That's the remaining ones, and we'll get rid of this guy too. Oh, I got <laughs> I got a lot to get rid of in there. All right, so we don't need you. We got another mutation. Fantastic. And that is another male. Okay, so we got stamina. So what I'll do is keep the one that we got. Let him breed once. We'll get his stats. And then we'll change him out for this one. And then breed that one in. You know what I mean? Do a lot of crossbreeding. I'll probably do a lot of that off camera. I didn't do the growth pulse. Let me throw this guy out. We'll do a double growth pulse at once. And then I'll get those, those plants out. So I wonder what the color is on this guy. I think it's just another gray mutation, it looks like. It is. You know what? Ah, uh, man. I'll probably just get the the stat off of him for the stamina. And we'll keep this color pattern. I like that one a lot versus the red. I was kind of wanting that yellowish to be gray. See, we had the, the other male. I did kill off the other ones, the original parents. I was wanting the gray off of him, but I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Not a big deal. All right, you guys do your thing. I'll do the growth pulse. I'm going to throw these plants out, get them irrigated, and once again, it'll be morning time. So I'll see you back in the morning. We'll do a final check on everybody, and then do a final check on the base. I'll get the lights up, too, and show you what I do about that. It's just a couple of the Omni lights, so it's nothing, nothing too major. So I think I have everything done, and I think I have the lights set correctly. So I did wait till nighttime to show you. That way you can kind of see how the light is. And speaking of lights, I just realized that light that's above my head needs to be moved over some. I totally did not realize that whenever I was setting that up. Anyways, <laughs> let me show you out here. Ah, uh, dude, I think it looks fantastic, man. It's just the right amount of brightness to where it's not a like a glare and everything coming off of it. I did start off with just one row of lights at the very top there, just the four. But it was pretty dark over here on the sides. So I added in a couple more and turned the dimness down on them. So they're kind of they're kind of low, but just enough. And as you can see, I left this guy in here. There's plenty of room for them and Rex, too. So we should be able to get that full flight just like you can over on the obelisk. And that way we can do all of our stuff here. Kind of be safe, not have to worry about fighting dinos, trying to get stuff on the platform. Or them catching aggro from anything, either. So I don't know, man. I really, really like it. Oh, dude, it turned out fantastic. Let me show you about the plant species before we go. They're all still growing. I got them over here, but I think it'll be just fine once they get fully grown. Turn the lights up so you can see. They're still all very, very small, but I got water on all of them. It only took one tap in the center on these, and it'll reach all those. 
And then the little side ones have one as well. So that's going to give us a ton of plant species. Plus, it kind of makes the place look nice, right? we got some plants around the sides. A little bit of greenery. And as you can hear, I've got the acros over there. I'm trying to get the stamina stat over on the teams we have now. And then I'll change that male out. And we'll do the stamina stat onto him with the color pattern that I want. Dude, I'll tell you what. It is a ton of breeding. But in the end, I think it'll be worth it. I am very happy with the way this turned out today. I can't wait to do a boss fight with the Acros. I'm going to try working over it over the next couple days. Try to get them bred up and then get the stats that I want. And we'll go from there and see how they do. They might do fantastic. We might not be able to use them in boss fights. I don't know. That's the whole point is to try everything out. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you liked our building and breeding day today. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.